大家好，欢迎收看《聊台球》，我是亮哥。本期为大家带来二零一三年世锦赛，奥斯利文对阵霍金斯。现在的比分是九比十二，奥斯利文已经拿到了赛点。而在这一局里，霍金斯仅仅就开了一杆球，简直是不要太悲惨。斯诺克本身是一项技术性的运动，而奥斯利文则把它上升为艺术。观众看着奥斯利文打球呢，简直就是一种享受。接下来呢，我们一起来欣赏奥斯利文流畅丝滑的表演。现场响起了热烈的掌声，还夹着一位女性观众惊呼声，这可能就是奥塞利文的超级粉丝。Cushion didn't really was very close to finding the top cushion there, but Ronnie was able to play the shot to nothing. He's on the choice of green or yellow. Shot to run through this time, but left-handed running through, not bound to get perfect position. 黑球打进以后，奥斯利文准备解决黑球下方的红球，因为这一颗红球始终会干扰黑球正常的走位。Twenty-seven. Ronnie, as ever, leaving an angle on the black. Albeit there is a, a loose red he can play for in the middle if he wants, but we know. The key is here to not hit one of those red full ball, but he's playing for the loose one. I'd like Ronnie to do that. He probably feels he's better. 这个红球的角度，大家注意一下。很多爱好者在平时打球的时候能碰见这样的角度。我看见过有不少爱好者打这种角度的球就推下，但是往往推下以后不好交位。那么奥沙利文这一杆的处理方法呢是比较合适的，大家可以学习一下这样的方式来走位。Thirty-six. Make that look easy. Mucho 经过两库以后 ，K 闪的红球堆还不错，有一颗红球，右边顶带还可以打。大家现在对这种 K 球呢已经习以为常，但是你们知道发明这一种 K 球方式的人是谁吗？他就是台球皇帝亨德利。Every credit to Barry Hawkins for competing and competing well, and it's not beyond the realms of possibility he can still win the match. Obviously, this frame looks like it possibly could disappear. This one has a little bit of a turn. Austin Wynn used a pivot. The pivot will be the size of the pivot, and the pivot will be smaller. 55 ahead, so not that many more pots needed to open up a four-frame advantage. 
We talk about Ronnie being such a natural player, and not only. 如果是第一次看我们的视频呢，建议你点上关注，因为在看我们做的视频的同时，你可以学到不少的台球知识。同时呢，也建议老观众多一些点赞和评论，这样才会让我更有动力。This year, especially, a lot of players have been struggling with their position. But Ronnie O'Sullivan's position all these two weeks of this Betfair World Championship has been pinpoint. I think that's the key difference in this, isn't it? I mean, we know he's a great player, but the ball control has been immense. Seventy. Seventy-six. Eighty-five. Ninety-two. Ninety-three. And he's absolutely perfect on the difficult road. Ninety-nine. 100. Wow, that is unbelievable. That's his 12th century in this year's World Championship. He made 12 last year when he lifted the crown. 108. And what a sensational break this has been. Not a lot Barry Hawkins could do about this. He got a reasonably good break-off shot close to the cushion. Ronnie knocked a long red in, and a frame. 115. This could equal Barry's high break of the match. One, three, three. 120. And this is another record he's taken away from Stephen Hendry. Now he's made the most centuries here at the Crucible, and now he's made more centuries in the final than Stephen Hendry. 本期到这里就结束了，谢谢大家收看，我们下期见。